Hello, I'm Joe Rafferty. I'm Chief Executive of Mercy Care Trust. I just wanted to say hello and to say how much we're looking forward to working more closely with Liverpool community staff over the next months and years ahead. I wanted to take the opportunity just to record a short message about some of the key points that I'd like you to understand uh, about uh, our approach as we move ahead. The first is to understand a little bit about our community service model. It's heavily based on the uh, Healthy Liverpool programme and the community model that's associated with that. It builds on the really sterling work that has been done by the CCTs, but does recognise that we need now to move away from the pilot phase and do the CCT work at scale right across uh, the different uh, localities and neighbourhoods in the city. The key feature of uh, the model itself is that it's a heavily integrated model. It integrates uh, healthcare uh, progressively with social care. It integrates physical uh, health with mental health. And it looks to uh, make sure that we uh, understand the benefits of uh, a strong focus on uh, prevention and health promotion and those sorts of activities. Um, given that a significant component of what we do is about children, then early intervention is really important, prevention is really important, making sure that we integrate whole packages um, through families um, to make sure that children get the best start in the world uh, and actually continue to develop uh, holistically as people um, is the best way to prevent future healthcare usage. Of course we recognise that we go right through the life cycle uh, through to older adults um, and in that model you can see that uh, we work really really hard to make sure that where it's possible to do something once we do it once in a fully integrated way rather than many of the traditional ways the NHS has evolved and developed which involves multiple different agencies coming at multiple different times into people's lives often in a way that doesn't connect it for best benefit. So our model clearly and openly addresses that. It's a model too that will um, ask us to work differently, it will ask us to think about our training and development needs, it will raise lots of interesting questions about how we get uh, our resources right, uh, the, the um, what I call electronic workflow, our, our information systems, our buildings, all of those sorts of things. But with it comes great opportunity to do new things, uh, to train and develop differently, to look at our skill sets and so on. And I really want to invite you to think hard about some of the really positive opportunities. What does doing this mean um, in reality? Well, it means on 1st of April, everyone will move over to uh, a Mercy Care contract. Your contract won't be with anybody else. We don't anticipate the need for any compulsory redundancy. We want everybody to, to have a job, a meaningful job. As I said, it will require us to think differently about the skill sets that we engage with uh, or we develop over time. Uh, and a lot of what we can do, I, I think, is about looking to, to make sure that our, our skills, our talent, uh, the types of things we do, we can adjust over time. As you know, we started uh, work with South Sefton um, probably three or four months ago now. And we've learned a great deal from that. I think it's been a very successful uh, transition for South Sefton staff into Mercy Care. Um, and recently, certainly when we've looked at um, some survey results, very, very high levels of satisfaction uh, from staff in general terms uh, in relation to how they find life in Mercy Care now. Of course, opportunity to learn. Um, and a number of things uh, didn't work as smoothly as we hoped um, and we've got all of those firmly in our sights now to make sure that we extract the learning from that and make your transition over as smoothly as possible. So when we start the management contract 1st of November you'll see a lot more of us. Um, I look forward, really look forward to talking to as many of you as possible, doing service visits, seeing what life is like on a day-by-day -day basis uh, in the Liverpool end of, of the service um, and look forward from 1st of April to formally welcome you all in to Mercy Care. Have a great day and thanks very much. Bye.